This video will cover some of the seismic vulnerabilities that have been identified for the fuel sector in Oregon. Over 90% of Oregon's fuel is transported to oil terminals in Portland. These terminals have been found to have high vulnerability to liquefaction hazards, where the underlying soils can temporarily turn into liquid due to intense shaking. In addition, there are major seismic deficiencies in infrastructure due to past development without adequate understanding of the earthquake hazards and appropriate seismic design codes. The fuel is transported to the terminals via the Olympic pipeline in red, as well as the shipping lane for marine vessels shown here in blue. Both modes of transport have significant seismic vulnerabilities. The pipeline could be damaged and become inoperable to transport fuel, and the shipping channel would likely be damaged and closed for navigation. Studies have shown that in a Cascadia earthquake, likely damages would include tsunami scour, damage and debris near the mouth of the Columbia River, underwater slope failures along portions of the steep banks of the navigable river channel, collapses of overhead structures from earthquake shaking, and broken buried pipelines at river crossing locations. So we're going to look at seven specific points of vulnerability in northwest Oregon. We'll begin with the Astoria Megler Bridge, built in 1966. The approach to this bridge, shown here, has been found to have major structural deficiencies. Next, the buried natural gas pipeline near Klatskany crosses under the Columbia River and supplies two power plants with fuels. Just upriver, these high-voltage electrical transmission lines near Longview are built on a riverbank that is susceptible to lateral spreading. The 1930 Lewis and Clark Bridge in Longview is also a concern. The 1931 St. John's Bridge crosses the Willamette inside the Critical Energy Infrastructure Hub. The tall concrete columns are seismically deficient. Just south, the 1908 BNSF Rail Bridge that crosses the Willamette River. The bridge piers are seismically deficient. And lastly, the 1973 Fremont Bridge crosses the Willamette River and is used for liquid fuel distribution. That concludes this short video on seismic vulnerabilities for energy in Oregon. Thank you for watching. The information in this video was sourced from the Oregon Energy Assurance Project.